is the enthusiasm here tonight oh yeah by the faithful right absolutely we got a i mean it's perfect weather for the the guys to get here and tailgate and get wound up about the game the hooligans are here as they are in every game making a stack of noise and they're right behind the opposition bench which uh does make it very easy for the coach to give instructions out um i've done that a few times myself right. when i've been with the hooligans it's always interesting to <laughs> Hear the uh, the dirty looks you get from the coaches <laughs> and the opposition players, but it's made other players who haven't been signed to Chattanooga want to come and play here. And what happened was um, certainly Alex McGrath and Colin Stripling joined us last year, and they said that's one of the things that made us want to come here. Now, I'm very fortunate to have Alex McGrath, a very physical player. Mm -hmm. He has logged a ton of minutes, yep, and he's earned every single one of them with his play, has he not? Absolutely right. So that that's what it is. That's one of the draws. And then people go, other oh, stadiums go, wish we have this much noise in our stadium. We're like, well, we have it here. And we, that's why we're, you know, such a great night out here at the stadium. And, um, yeah, one of the things that the hooligans have done, or the, as they would be called, the supporters group, officially, um, we've been very busy in the behind the scenes. And we now can order yourself a speciality Chattanooga FC license plate to show your support. So don't waste your money on you know, college sports from out of state, waste it on Chattanooga FC. I've ordered mine, go to cfcplates.com, order yourself a Chattanooga FC license plate looking for your car, to, show your loyalty. <laughs> looking forward to seeing those on the cars around it's town. Great looking plates too, really great. So, uh, but yeah, there's, you know, that's really cool. There's just the doing more and more stuff to engage the community. The money goes towards the uh, Operation Get Active, which is a great cause. Uh, it helps, you know, minority sports in America, in Chattanooga, gets everybody involved in soccer. It's a win-win situation. Time now for the Crystal Air kickoff. Crystal Air serving the southeast since 1998, offering private charters, dedicated routes, aircraft maintenance, aircraft management, services, flights, and instructions, all with Crystal Air, as they are committed to providing quality aviation services. I know you're all about the charter flight, right? Me? Oh gosh, yeah. yes. All over that. <laughs> I'm off to my, uh, yes, my luxury yacht in the, in the Carabino, you know me. <laughs> well, if you're not familiar, Chattanooga will be in the blue tonight as they are under most circumstances in Bay Cities. The team that has traveled here from the West Coast will be in their white kicks tonight. Absolutely. Yes. Chattanooga playing from right to left on your screen. For those of you watching in black and white, you're in the dark strip. <laughs> so, you mentioned the start of the mm -hmm. season, Chattanooga took on some water early yes. in that home opener, but they have right. righted their ship so they far. They certainly have. Yeah. yeah, and we're pleased to see that. And see, it takes a while, any, any team, the new coach, new ideas, you can practice them all you want. When it comes to playing an actual game, then that's when you have the proof of the pudding. Dixon with the red band on. So the captain's uh, band gets so it started. So Richard did get the captain's on, but yep. that's great. It's, it's great to see Richard back. The Jamaican footballer. Chattanooga is coming off of a big road win, and Bay Cities has been on a bit of a roll themselves as well. Absolutely. Well, you just think something tonight is going to have to give between these two teams. Shahid playing it ahead. Nice Absolutely. takeaway. Yep. Referee not buying that one, just a straightforward foul. So. Looks like our tech team's been busy, Todd. They predicted the score of the game for 3-3. <laughs> Maybe they'll set that back to 0-0 later on before the game gets going, but uh, it's not 3-3, folks. It's 0-0. <laughs> if you're there tuning is, in, we haven't gotten that far yet, right? That, that'd be pretty fast, six goals in 50 seconds, but no, it's not out. <laughs> they'll fix that at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, yeah. Watch as it get, as it's taken away. This is gray here. And played ahead, we talked about McGrath, here yep. he is. There it is again, I was saying about focusing on the possession. Even when they can go forward, Chattanooga still making sure they're in a good place to do it, rather than just dashing forward and losing the ball. Gray being marked there by Turgeon. I'm pretty sure Taylor Gray's gonna give him a lot of problems. That's a nice flick to Ian Serro, just a little bit too much on it. And I think he runs out for a corner, first corner of the Chattanooga FC. This is a chick for a corner kick. Wow, this is where you this is where you make your money, right? Absolutely. I mean, this is uh, both this is teams it. will tell you that their offensive chances come. They do. With the corner, Chick Fil A. Explore the different ways to order your Chick Fil A. Go online and download their app and order tonight. Don't forget, Chattanooga have uh, taken the early lead in a couple of games this season. 
So it's not impossible for them to uh, take a lead of course tonight. That wasn't one. Uh, you know, a bit too much in that corner. <laughs> you bring up a great point, Simon. Everybody in every sport kind of approaches the first five minutes differently. Mm -hmm. How do you think these two teams tonight look at the first five, ten minutes of the match? Right. Chattanooga certainly putting the pressure on. Uh, that confidence is up, and they're not sitting back. They're uh, going into the opposing half, and they're letting them know, hey, we're at home, you're in our house, these are our rules, and uh, making sure that uh, they don't feel they can, you know, play like they do at home. Oh, that was a foul given there against Alex too. So, again, Chattanooga keeping most of the action in the opposing half, which is how you should do it. Uh, it certainly with Bay City, it's a very dangerous attacking mm -hmm. team. You know, one way to address that is to be aggressive against it's them. to attack them back. Right. You know, yeah. That strength against works. strength. Well, that's it. Don't let them get comfortable. If you keep the ball moving and don't let them settle, then that gives you the edge. McGrath, center field with it. Mid pitch. The man has wanted something. Didn't get anything for Bay Cities. Right, we talked about the one touch passing that Bay Cities has displayed in their own end defensively. Quick to move it and find space. But, uh, Chattanooga on quickly, not to say not letting them settle down. A lot of running in this early stage. Of course, they never run out of energy during the game, but right now they're, they're giving it to all they've got. So. Taylor and Shahid battling there for a moment. And here's a pull and a tug on the jersey and the oh, player goes yeah. down and that, that will draw the attention of everybody. The referee's catching those. <laughs> those shirt pulls he's not standing for, uh, and that's good. Frankie Martinez did not stand a chance as he was getting pulled down backwards and right. a little bit of a wry smile on his right. face. And so from mid-pitch, Chattanooga will take over. You sense that these two clubs will be patient? I almost get the feeling like they are ready to go out of the gate here. I do too. I thought, I they thought. have, I think they have enough maturity not to just do that and go right. straight at it. Uh, in previous years, they wouldn't have done that. And this year, Rod's got them saying, just slow down, pace yourself. Remember, it's 90 minutes, not nine, and you've got to last the game, so. Now, one thing is for certain, both teams, these clubs come in here with a ton of confidence right now. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, if you were to ask me who the alpha male is in this one, um, I would tell you to tune back in later tonight around 10 o'clock. We'll, we'll let you know, yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah, both teams had success in the uh, the Mahan Cup, knocking out mm -hmm. bigger opposition in the first round before running up against uh, somebody tougher. But uh, they both had success early on, and they're both, as I said, second in their league, not looking too shabby either either league. So, yep. Yeah. And then we just got to look at Martinez. He wears number 18 for mm -hmm. Bay Cities. He is so dangerous off the ball. Right. You have to be aware of, of him wherever he is. You do. He's a great uh, centre midfielder. Yeah. He's really good at that. So, yeah. Well, he really does play high. I mean, he comes yeah. out, he forces you to make quick decisions, and if you right. make a wrong one, he will capitalize on it. Right. And you can see Richard Dixon's on him pretty closely all the way through the game. And so... Right. That's going to be a great matchup, isn't it? It is. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. A battle between two teams that are in the top half of their standings. And I dare say that everybody in the Nisa Nation tonight, this is the game that's on the marquee for the weekend. Sure. Cerro bumped off. Again, Chattanooga keeping the squeeze on the most of the action is now in the in the uh, base of his half. Do you feel like that this is a match where maybe Brent Jones can break through? I'd like to see that because Brett's worked really hard this season, and uh, if he deserves a goal, it's probably Brett. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a possibility of an overplay tonight on him. It could be, could be. Here we go. Let's see if that's what happens. The crosser. Wait long. The there it is. Mr. Taylor Gray with his first goal for Chattanooga FC. And they pick up where they left off. Oh, yeah. We are jumping around the commentary box, folks. That's great. 
That is six goals now in the last two games for this club, and we are just moments and minutes into this one here. Yeah. Taylor Gray in the sixth minute, folks. That goal has been coming. Taylor's played so well this season. He's finally got his reward. A great goal. It's a nice little tap-in header. That's great. All right, now that's... There's your line in the sand, Todd. Let's see what Bay City's doing. Yeah. <laughs> so far tonight, they have not been the aggressor. Chattanooga has been the aggressor. Right. And you and I have commented before, it is tough to build a quality start on the road. It is, and it's uh, yes, the unfamiliar surroundings. doesn't mean you can't do it, but it just means you have to put a little bit more effort into it mentally and physically. So... Nice just to see these two clubs out there after all of the the news over the last couple of weeks. I'm sure. Yep. You know, we had the news with Val United and the suspensions and the right. loss of games. We've got the, the idea of maybe some international play now with Mexico in the announcement. Uh -huh. um, Flower City, they changed their head coach. Colton Bly is going to get the yeah. shot there. Uh, that's very early in the season. Yep. <laughs> and then, if not to be outdone, yeah. George Ukai, the owner for the Michigan Stars, tweeted out he felt like that they should be in the MLS in the next six years. Well, it's yeah. one thing to say it. <laughs> it's a bit harder to do. Yeah, you need some deep pockets for that uh, that ticket. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to argue with the idea that that city oh. is uh, absolutely it's oh. a big city. It yeah. should be represented, but uh, hey, maybe Chattanooga should be too. And that that you know, you're going to say that. Why not have us in there too? <laughs> Sarah with one touch, Dixon, and this one will come back. Well, yeah. you know, the, so Detroit has fallen on some hard times with population, but it certainly is one of the, uh, those international cities yeah. um, that draws That's a nice from all over the world. Ah, not a great cross, but a good move there. But I don't know if you can jump out there on Twitter and suggest that within the next, and, and put out there a time frame. Really? Yeah. That will come back to haunt you because Twitter never forgets. No, and they many don't people do that. found out at their cost. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, nice play from Chattanooga. Staying calm, not letting this goal go to their head, and they are focusing. Taylor Gray has now got two defenders yeah. on him because they realise he's dangerous. Gonna a, little bit, mark. a little bit late in the day, they finally figured out. Wait, this guy's dangerous. <laughs> and when that happens, so, it's up. It's now up to Taylor Gray to find somebody else, right? If you're yeah. going to get double marked, that's it. Then, you, then who's available? You pass. Right. Yeah. yeah, take the heat off you. So, so. yeah. So I mean, it's a great start. As we said before, the, the early start is what Chattanooga seems to do this year, so more power to the elbow for doing that, I say. Looks like Cruz, the goalkeeper for uh, Bay City, has there. gotten a little bit more cautious with how quickly he puts it into play. And you mentioned the foul player down and up quickly is Stripling. Yeah, Colin Stripling got a knock, but uh, I think he's probably okay. Just a, a knock in a contact. So. Well, he is a player that influences how the match is played, even when he doesn't have the ball. In Absolutely, the yeah, yeah. Right? That's what a good defender does. Yeah. They, they're very much part of the uh, defensive wall, and they just they watch the game from back because they're facing forward so much. They can see what's happening, which other players can't do. Like they're twisting and turning, and they can look for the people to pass the ball to, and change the, the side they play from left to the right side of the field if they see there's a gap. So yeah, very important to have defenders who are aware of soccer. Turgeon plays it back Ooh, as Bay City tries to, to build that. that. <laughs> yeah, almost making a mistake there on the back end defensively. We can Chattanooga run a little bit. Boy, and they're just, Bay City's just having a hard time right now building on anything offensively. Eventually going to play it back. Boy, a team that is not afraid to play in front of their keep. Oh, no, they're not at all. They, they, they're showing confidence there and... They're going to be patient too. They're not going to rush into it. They know they've uh, they've got the ability to strike back, so I'm not going to write them off this early stage after just over 10 minutes played. But uh, nicely, Chattanooga won up, and they said great eating for soccer here. Have you, have you jumped on this one late? Chattanooga in the sixth minute with the header off of Gray on the nice crosser. And 
Kansas City's just trying to get into some sort of offensive rhythm, and every time ball. they do, Chattanooga sends it forward, Nagelstadt and there's a the collision. Goes down. What's that? A penalty? What's the referee saying? He's saying a corner. No, a goal kick. Okay, so no, no penalty there. Bit of a bump with the keeper, but uh, not really vindictive. Just uh, two people in the same place at the same time. The base hitters, yeah, need to play out a little stronger than this. They, they keep the ball in their box. A little slow to get away. Let's see. Trying to get it to Romero, who can make something happen, but it is quickly taken away. Yeah, Richard Dixon's in the right place at the right time. Oh, nice play by Jimenez yep. on the steal. Let's take two on to get, get it off Cerro, though. <laughs> Shahid, who's got some fancy footwork himself, is nice dive. They push from behind. It was a, and, it was you a, know, you it was can... a nice dive. It wasn't a push. <laughs> and, the, and, and then the exchange on the other end that will stop play, and that will yeah. draw some conversation. We did say they're a physical team, didn't yes. we, Todd? So this is not a surprise, and I think the referee knows yeah. that. So before the start, you know, you and I were about to talk about how you get to this point of the season, mm -hmm. and nobody plays injury free at this point. Every player no. seems to have a yeah. nick somewhere. A There's nick always scrape a cut. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Something got bent in the wrong direction. Well, they get injured in playing in warm-ups. Things happen, so that's just soccer. Nice touch. Nice. Back to Ward now. Graham Ward combining nicely tonight. Here goes Ward. He's got enough space. I think he's run out of room. Yeah, Turgeon yeah, forces think, him into the corner there. I think he ran out of room there. plays wide for Bay Cities and he just has not been able to get free and create anything. Chattanooga got a good line. You can see they got a line of four um, keeping Bay Cities at bay. Pardon the pun. But, uh, they basically only got one or two attackers up and Chattanooga got four in a line. Romero pressing. This is where Bay Cities can be dangerous when they press. But Chattanooga avoids the turnover. This game has high energy. It does. I hope they can the keep it up. Yeah. I um, mean, it's not super hot tonight. It's it's like in the mid 70s. It's very comfortable tonight. It's not humid, so that won't drain their energy. But nevertheless, you don't want to burn all your calories in the first 15 minutes in a game like this. Again, trying to spring Romero free and just not able to connect on the long pass. So do you feel like Bay Cities is, is in a bit of just survival mode right now? Or are they? I wouldn't call it survival. Well, they're being patient. They're, they're trying to find the cracks in Chattanooga's defense. Uh, they're not rushing, but Chattanooga aren't giving any, as you can see again, no breathing space, and that's making it hard for them to just get the extra second on the ball to look for the gaps. So I wouldn't say they're in crisis, but they're, they're just like biding their time right now. I'm not going to write them off because they wouldn't be second in the league if they weren't any good. So, <laughs> and they, you know, a lot of these teams we know will nick a goal in the last five minutes of the game. On McGrath, so. sends it back to the center and it's picked off. A chance to build here. Ahead to Romero, just beyond his reach. Boy, and this is where I like Bay Cities. They are just so quick mm -hmm. to counter on any mistake at all. Oh, yes. All right. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a patience game here. It's not... Uh, they're waiting to see what they can do, and they may change it up in the second half as time runs out, but they won't early on. They've got plenty of time, thanks to the clock, like we can, so. I just love the energy of this match so far between these two clubs. Yeah, they're both going for it. Gray heads it forward, and it's quickly countered back. Menes tried to reach in there. Not able to create anything offensively on the turnover. Chattanooga once again re-establishing mm -hmm. control. Right, with that possession soccer. Flick on from McGrath to Gray, that's nice. Can Gray make something happen? Marked by Turgeon. Yeah, he tucks it inside, but uh, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> 
Penner with the right leg at clear. It's Richard Dixon's very smart, very quick. Romero. Alice Ward knocking the back. Yeah. Jimenez, Ward, Romero all mixed up right there. Yeah, yeah there's three of them in that in this little <laughs> patch over here, this side of the stadium on the near side, and they're all boxed into a little area. So your approach, you know you're going to play somebody physical. Your approach is what sometimes? To match well, that or? To, to, you have to be ready to match it, but actually let them burn their energy by cutting away from Ian Serro who's mm. been good out and Taylor Gray tonight. Both Ian and Taylor have both been ducking and diving and getting away from their man. So you, they'll put the energy into a lunge and into, into thin air. They're lunging into thin air. So that gets frustrating and you're burning calories. So. Ultimately, it's going to get the, the defender frustrated. They might lash out, get a yellow card, and, or red, so who knows. Waiting on the kick here from the side. There's this that, is Greg. There's that McGrath free kick, the touch. Good shot from McGrath. Oh! Skims it across the top of the crossbar. Very nice from Alex there. So, Pacers is quick to take the kick. They're keen to get moving here. Well, They're not letting their outfield yeah. players reset. Actually, the goalkeeper is so quick, he's not giving them a chance to reset, and that's probably not a good idea. When I coach goalkeepers, I'd say, give your players in the outfield a chance to reset and catch their breath, and don't just throw the ball out in seconds of getting it. But they're doing it here, and that's, that's not a great way to play. Oh, I mentioning Alex, I was going to say a shout out to Alex's friend Henry and Spennymore is watching tonight in England. Hope you're doing well, Henry, and enjoying the game. And also, a quick shout out to my friend Martin, who's having his 65th birthday today. Happy birthday, Martin. Uh, Martin's the uh, grandson. Olivier is playing in Chattanooga City Academy, so hi to Olivier, too. Hope you're enjoying the game tonight, folks. Well, the Academy, the Chattanooga Academy has mm -hmm. had some success this oh, year. Oh, absolutely. Some, some very recent... Yeah. Publicized success. They have. If you follow one on Anderson's um, social media, he, he bugs them incessantly and he's very proud of what they're doing because he's worked with them so much. And uh, Richard Dix is going to join them too and do some coaching. So well, they got some excellent coaches coming on there with uh, lots of real world experience. Twenty minutes in, Todd, and uh, I haven't seen Bay City's make a shot on goal yet. No, I have not. Which is an interesting right. thing. I, I think with all their offensive talent, yeah, and their game plan in the attacking third has been solid throughout yeah. the year, and they just have not been able I mean, to. Not yet. Yeah, I haven't been able to form anything. Uh, Kevin Gonzalez has picked the ball what two, three times. Yeah. You think it's not a cold night? You won't uh, sit there getting cold. <laughs> I think it just seems to be content right here with a little triangle. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, great point. Bay City has, has searched for some of their key players, especially Romero, mm -hmm. but not able to connect. Some of that's been defense. Right. Some of it's just been, you know, a little off on their timing so far tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing if Romero does get a break and what he can do with it. You know, he's one of those players, you hate to see him go the whole match. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they have to pull him with five minutes left because he's unable to go the distance. Right. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, there's oh. a big bump. And Romero, yeah. Was, yeah, you mentioned it, Romero coming in to try to get mm -hmm. involved. Well, he's coming back into the last third of the field to pick up the ball. And the striker doesn't usually do that. They, they get the service. Shahid sends it ahead. Yeah, again, that's not great service. So, uh, yeah, I would have expected a few more uh, attacks of base cities by now. Let's see if they may do it later on, though, so I won't write them off. But certainly giving Chattanooga enough space to do what they need to do. This is but, Martinez. Uh, yeah, so far Martinez and Dixon and Stripling are having a good game. Cerro nudging the back. Yeah, gets caught in the back. And there's our first yellow card of the night. So 
Oh, uh, Chris Ailey getting the first uh, yellow card, I think. Yellow card tonight being brought to you by Capperman White and McGarvey. Didn't see that one coming? Go visit Capperman White and McGarvey providing comprehensive eye care in Chattanooga and the Tennessee surrounding area. with a long ball into the box, but he's the keeper. Nothing that uh, Alan Cruz Gomez can't, uh, can't handle. Well, he is, to your point, he is playing it very quickly. Uh-oh, and then he makes an uh, unforced makes, error. Yes, that's... That's unusual. Anxious? Must Play? be nerves, yeah, yeah. which is weird, because well, he's, he's a good player. <laughs> he's been under attack tonight, for sure. Yes, but that's a bit weird for a goal at this level to do that. Oh, well. Dixon dodges Juan, gets it to Sarah. And again, this Chattanooga club will recollect and try to build from there. Yeah. Neither of these teams have been particularly wide tonight in their play. Nice move, Richard Dixon. It's wide right Brett here. Brett Jones, yeah. Trying to make something happen, Brett Jones. <laughs> Still on them. Job. Try to hold it in. Played forward. This is Romero, but again, he is marked so quickly. Frankie Martinez, quick on that one. Did you see him just yes. rushing, nudging yeah. away? Yeah. yeah. He's it, already reading the reading the situation. That's what a good defender does. You kind of get the feeling that both these teams have been well coached in the film room before this match tonight. Mm -hmm. Chattanooga again, certainly the aggressor so far. Yeah. Halfway through the first half, still 1 0 Chattanooga FC. Bay City has not had a, a corner kick yet, and as, and as you pointed out, Arsenal they just have not had a shot. Taylor Gray again trying to volley for the spectacular, but uh, more of a field goal than a soccer goal. But hey, <laughs> you know, if it comes off, you're the king, so you know, <laughs> you try it, right? Well, I, I, I did at his age. Why we? <laughs> coaches have said if you can make the keeper move, yes, right? If you yeah. can make them constantly aware. Mm -hmm you can start to grind on them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Even if uh, yeah. the shot doesn't have a chance, if you've made them move and react, mm -hmm. then you've applied some pressure. Cardona in the middle there. Jimenez will drive it back then. This is Penner. Uh, Penner's been good tonight. He's had some nice clearing with the ball. Richard Dixon again. Almost playing like an attacker. <laughs> Which he can do. Boy, there's oh, there's a slide a underneath collision Valencia. There. That didn't look pretty, did it? Referee's getting a card out. And, oh, bit of, uh, bit of handbags here. Pushing and shoving. Basically, is not enjoying a, someone being physical on them. I've always said that sport is so much better when there's a little animosity and we have... Yeah. This isn't our first sign of it, but it's been building here tonight. There's a yellow on Richard. So I'll sit in yellow tonight, one each in yellow cards. So. That's the 17th, 18th yellow card on the year, that is, for mm -hmm. Chattanooga as a club. They come into this with 17 yellows and two reds. Let's have a look at this again. See if we can see a replay of that. Penner. You can just see with his size, he can be an intimidating player. As this one ends up in the stands. Yep. Turgeon. Just trying to find somebody. Chattanooga, everybody's dropping back very quickly for the defense here. Valencia had it there on his foot for a moment. He one appears the, to be uh, fine after the yeah, he's okay. one the of aggressive Rod, play. One of the things Ron Underwood said was that uh, every player has a defender, and if they're defending, he expects them all to get back and help. There's a shot. Mahid! That's more like it. Off the foot. Finally. It's a random shot that was yeah. going on goal. Yeah. That was good. Kevin Gonzalez yeah. was there. Got 
Gonzalez, the final defensive measure for Chattanooga in goal. Chip Dixon there, and the referee's giving a foul for that from getting tumbled over there. But uh, yeah, first shot on goal from base is almost out of nothing and just a nice flick on. So they don't write them off yet. <laughs> Offensive theory there is sometimes anything on goal, right? Anything uh, yes. on net. The Psalms they go let's in. Just, yep. so we've seen it. Let's just see if we can't generate. Off. Attempts have gone in. Ray with a nice touch there to Cerro. Couldn't quite get under control. Penner ahead to Jimenez. Deep drive. Martinez has got that. Can let it run out for a throw in. I said he seems to be warming to the offensive attack here. friends at home watching. Mm -hmm. 2 a.m.? Well, yeah, about that. About okay. five hours time difference, yeah. But. Just after dinner. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we head back in from the pub and, uh, you know, get a curry and watch the game. That's, that's how we do it. So there's uh, anybody who's got a, you know, a player from overseas. A lot of them stay up late and watch. It'll be the first time. We had a lot of German players here two years ago. A lot of their families stay up late to watch. And they were six hours behind. So, so it's always nice to say hi to the German folks. So, but yeah, there, you know, soccer is soccer. <laughs> you want to watch? Penner like, can't get away from McGrath, so he sends it Yeah. pitch wide. Boy, that McGrath-Penner matchup, the two of them just oh. match up so well physically. Yes, they do. Yeah, that seems to be where it's, it's clicking and it's yeah. making, making it work. I mean, they're both, you know, beyond 6'2", probably. Carrying a little bit of weight on their frames, a little bit of muscle as there's oh, a collision and a, a collision and a player down. A that is that looks a little painful. Yeah, that's Brent Jones who has had six shots this year, but still searching for that breakout game. Got a stoppage in. Well, this may be tonight. He had the assist on Taylor Gray's goal, so <laughs> we'll see. Stoppage in play here, brought to you by HHM Certified Public Accounting. Get the full support your business deserves. Go online today and start your conversation with a trusted and certified accountant. City's the third game now that they've been out here on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. They must feel like they're in the Olympics. <laughs> Some of these road trips are a bit exhausting, <laughs> I have to say, yeah. Durgeon, nice job of holding it down. And Valencia, who was down earlier, seems to be playing oh well, all well and okay. Jimenez here, a little bit of open room for him. Shahid, marked by Ward, sends it in the box and handled easily there. Yeah, not a problem for Kevin Gonzalez there. A little bit more work, but uh, he's not been stressed out too much. Well, if you go to Nisa News, there was a fabulous mm -hmm. article on Gonzalez about his growing up and playing the game in California. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that he had to go through, his style of play is somewhat different than maybe the American mm -hmm. born and bred soccer sure, sure, goal keeps. But, sure. you know, and sometimes he's been overlooked because of his play. But mm -hmm. he's at a level now where you can't overlook him anymore. Not at all. No, not at all. You know, those American goalkeepers that are brought up in this game, usually a little bit taller, a lot right. more aggressive. and. He doesn't fit that bill, but the one bill he does fit is he wins. Yeah, he saves the ball and keeps it out of the net. And that's what matters. So 
Uh, we tried to play it ahead. I've, and I've never really looked more at the height and things on a yep. goalkeeper. I've looked at the ability, and although a lot of people do is that they have to be at least six foot and certain weight, but I'm like, not necessarily. <laughs> and, um, you know, classic case of that is our own Gregor Hartley, who was fabulous here and was, you know, not the tallest person in the field by a long way and was still a phenomenal goalkeeper and still is, still playing in the UK and doing great. So, yeah. Yeah, that's why you know they, they talk about the one thing that's really hard to to, to scout is instinct, right? It's yeah, not, yeah. It's not something that shows up on, under height and weight. No, it's not. A, it's not something you can measure. Right. So, and yeah, we've seen a lot of players who uh, don't necessarily meet fill, fulfill what the spreadsheet says, but they're still excellent soccer yeah. players. So I, I never write them off ever. Well, things have got a little bit easier for this keep right here. He's patient bringing it out. Hasn't been under quite the duress that he was earlier when Chattanooga had that early offensive barrage mm -hmm. in his direction. Right. Oops. Oh, boy, two feet. That was yeah. unintentional foul. I, I think Mark Blake Martinez but he was there and kicked him. <laughs> Referee's letting the advantage go on. When you kick each other, what do you do, right? It's a nice attempt, but uh, nothing going on there from Cardona. Just uh, that was always going to go above the goal, but uh, at least he got the shot in, so they're starting to make themselves known to the keeper, even if they aren't troubling him too much. Cardona, one shot, one yellow, one assist, two goals, but that was in a three match set. Mm -hmm. He's gone five games without anything right, to right. that degree of play since. Well, we've got it down as a player to watch. Yep, and he is, you know, when he's on form, he's, he's very dangerous. Yeah. So he just kind of lingers and lurks, doesn't uh -huh. he? I, I would uh -huh. say linger, but other people, a goalkeeper might say, no, he lurks Travis around this Ward. area. <laughs> yeah, nice play from Travis Ward taking the play deep into base at his half. Now with his compatriot Gray, the two of them together. Yeah, it's a nice, and nice attempt there to get him off from Cerro, but a bit too strong. You mentioned that Ward Gray. It's a nice yeah, combination yeah. of it player is. right it there, is. isn't it? Like they seem to handle, even when they're defended three to two, they seem to find a way to put pressure on the other team. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel like one nil is going to hold up tonight. No, I'm not thinking it is either. Well, think, we, we get five goals like last time, I'd be yeah. happy, but... Yeah. <laughs> Certainly Chattanooga oh, took Flower unlucky. City out of the match early. Well, they did very early and, right. it was, and it was like bang, bang, bang and yep. it was three down very quickly and it was, there wasn't any way to come back. And Flower City didn't put up much of a comeback or an attempt. Not at all, point. no, no. So it was uh, a good road game for us. This is, yeah, as we said, this is going to be a bit tougher. Collision there, oh, good steal. Uh, Jimenez there. and McGrath, the two big players go down in a heap. Shahid with an opportunity trying to find some room, but Dixon keeps him away and shuts the door so it comes back out to Turgeon. Turgeon gonna try to put it in the box. Hit it away. Excellent. And you know what, McGrath has stayed down. Everyone right. talked about the collision and he has not gotten up yet. That's and, unusual. And those two players, yeah. Antonio Jimenez and McGrath, we talked about some of the players with size in this match mm -hmm. and those are another two. Well, we've already talked about McGrath. Jimenez also possesses and he is a very physical type of player with that size. McGrath is up, and the players gather again. We've already had, we've already had to break up one, get together, if you will. Each team with a yellow card tonight. Chattanooga with the only goal tonight. Sun's going down, lights coming on. It's a nice evening here for soccer. Like I said, it's uh, great weather. So uh, the disadvantage of having the sun in your eyes is gone, which Kevin was eyes had to start with. So yeah. Alex McGrath's going to get looked at by the medical staff briefly, but play will carry on. You mentioned the weather. If you played this last week, you would have either been yeah. wet or hot. Absolutely. Or both, right? yeah. You'd have been soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> Six, seven days later. It was, and uh, It's gorgeous. This is great. Right. So we're very lucky. Chattanooga will be a man down momentarily. Mogelstad, who has not been too active tonight. We haven't seen much, and McGrath comes on the field, and he's in a great position. 
Taylor Gray feeds the ball to him. McGrath going for the shot. And the lunge and the dive so for I, the stop on the yeah, far post. Cruz Gomez, so I guess uh, Alex is okay if he can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Romero now taken down. And you mentioned uh, McGrath. Getting a physical limit. Yeah, a down for the second time yeah. tonight. Brent Jones, Brent Jones is again. Getting down. A knock again. Yep. Referee stop played. Let's see how he's doing. Watch here as we will okay. take a look at this replay here in the last shot attempt. The nickel for the replay machine, Todd. Have you got one? Come on, where's that nickel? You know what? I meant to break meant that to break dollar some. bill before I, I got you it. Left yeah, I, was I bet you left it by the front door. I was yeah, I know. I know. I see how you are. <laughs> you know, I'm going to text you the next one. Yeah, you tell me to bring the nickels. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> A lot of time overseas you'll see the the rides in the stores and yeah families do a nice job of leaving nickels for the next ah, opportunistic okay. child that comes that's along true, right yes. yeah I, I have been that child myself yeah, you so don't I, see I, that maybe as much here in the states no you don't no but it's interesting isn't it yeah it's a nice touch stripling coming up on 40 minutes in chattanooga I think likely to get to the half one up at this stage. But uh, be a good time to get number two and Singapore into the locker room two up. We'll see. Do you think it's uh, a uh, tired or more patient now by both teams? Uh, they found each other's rhythm. And. Because uh, they came out swinging. Bit, they did. And it's, I think it's a matter of yeah, pacing yourself at this yeah. point uh, as, the, as the half starts to wrap up. But it uh, doesn't mean they won't make a sudden burst of speed and attack. Oh, so you're saying a little a little in the tank there. Well, it can be a little deceptive and like, I'll slow down, then I'll speed up suddenly. Jimenez, Shahid. Boy, and they drew a lot of defensive pressure, but couldn't find an open player. And, and again, it just turned around and then turned away. Cerro trying to Taylor oh, Gray. Here we go. Great this speed Gray from Taylor Gray run. from Cerro. Gray with a little bit of room. He just needs some help. Uh, try to make the flick. Didn't quite come off, but uh, Chattanooga on the break again. You know, Penner did such a nice job of staying with him in the race. Mm -hmm. Romero now, and Dixon all over him. A little tug of the jersey there, and now double marked. Manages to come away out of that. Great defensive move from Martinez there. Again, Martinez is reading the game very well tonight. Touch Cerro in plenty of space, bit of time. And Travis Ward playing the winger. Chattanooga, third in the East, Bay City's second in what they call the Wild West. Cal United ended the started the weekend 19 points. Ward keeps it in play and wins the corner. Nice little touch off the defender there. Good play. Time again now for another Chick-fil-A corner. Go online today, download the app, order your favorite Chick-fil-A. You're an app guy, right? You download and order from the car. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Simon's going to get served. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. I'm going to pull up in the spot and get served. <laughs> Everybody's drawing a mark. Let's see what happens here. Chattanooga has nice. played it long once. Good this has got up. room. Good punch out there from Cruz Gomez. Goes, Gomez had to fight for some I room there. I think he there. did. Uh, Alex McGrath trying to go for a swinging corner and score another goal off the, like he did last time over at the Bobcats. <laughs> we were talking about those standings in the east. It's Michigan mm -hmm. and Maryland, the stars in the Bobcats, each with 11. Then Chattanooga, mm -hmm. Syracuse, and Flower City. Right. So, yep, yeah, good chance tonight for Chattanooga to do better. 
with a win. So I know it's early, but these two teams are vying for a bye in the playoffs. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, this, this yeah. kind of it's, this at least gives you mm -hmm. another step in the right direction. It does. It does. It means you're in contention, and that's where you want to be. Now the corner. This is just part of the continual pressure Chattanooga's been squeezing on Bay Cities tonight. Bay City still has not had. Not a really serious attack. A couple right. of shots, but not a, a serious attack that's made my, my heart stop. <laughs> so come off the right foot. Loose ball, and it's... I think defended out more by chance than intention. Who has impressed you so far tonight? Both well, sides. Both sides. Yeah. Um, Pick one. But the keeper, I guess, yeah. for uh, base it is has been great. Yeah, this is We've one to nothing because of him, him right? Yeah, pretty we, much. Could be, um, could be two, three, nothing. No. Yeah. Nobody else has stood out greatly yet from base it is. Um, from our side, the usual suspects are doing what they do. Uh, Brett Jones, Alex McGrath, Taylor Gray. You know, Richard Dixon's back on the form. Ian Serra's played some very tasty passes to the forwards, keeping in play. Um, yeah, basically, they haven't got the pass completion. I think that's what you call it over here. They're just not getting the passes through. Um, I think Shahid tonight has, has played well. He just he hasn't been able he's to. He's been a bit subdued, to be right. frank. Honestly, yeah. apart from that shock, he's been a bit subdued. I expected more. Look, I really, I really felt like you and I talked before we started that you had to pay attention to Cardonia, you had to watch Romero, and you had right. to watch either one of the Jimenezes in the build up mm -hmm. and yep. getting into that attacking third and just making you look foolish, but they have not had those opportunities tonight. Not yet. And that's fine, I don't want them to get a goal, but at the same time, I like a little entertainment. <laughs> I think you at home would too. Taylor Gray, Gray is Reaching wide down. again. Not a great cross though, but uh, able to get away from his mark at will, yeah. pretty much. Now they have tried to put Penner and Valencia on him. They have, and it hasn't, yeah. hasn't, which takes two. Right, it does. And we see that a lot. Taylor's such a difficult player to defend against. But uh, last minute of, uh, of regulation time, a little bit of stoppage from the referee coming up, but not too much. We've had two, Capperman and White and McGravy, Yellow cards tonight. Yep. Yeah. Travis Ward, what's he got? Nice turn. Oh, Look at that. that just the cross just in. Who's there? Fair. The yes. header is in. Yes. It's that man again, Marcus Nagelstadt. Ward drew all the attention, and they're waving this one off. What? Saying it's offside. I did not, I have to be honest, I did not see the flag up. I did not either, that was a, a good goal to me. I thought the ball was clearly onside, it came back. Wow. Watch right here. Okay. Can we see that again? Let's see that again. There's the header. There's the header, it's a great header. Boy, to the far post. I thought he was onside, but okay. All right. Well, hold our horses in that one. Keep it at 1-0. <laughs> you just feel like in a match like tonight, you and I talked earlier, maybe 1-0 to nothing doesn't hold up 1-0. is hard to, mm -hmm. to defend, but certainly 2-0 after one half, and you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Sure, absolutely. Now Bay City's with a bit of a break here. Nevertheless, Chattanooga are proving they can get behind Bay City's defense and cause them trouble each time. And there's Gray again with two on him. Going to add on, uh, it's like two minutes two extra minutes. time. Yep. So just a bit more, folks. And you can take a break and get your cup of tea and your biscuit. When you played, mm -hmm. did you have tea at hand? Did you drink a coffee? No, we weren't allowed no. to at board when we played in school and college. Yeah. No, it was really lucky to get water and a rub down with a bag of gravel, but you know. <laughs> But uh, the adults at home were on the couch going to have a cup of tea and the biscuit. Funny. You said yeah. rub down with a bag of gravel, That's right? That's it, yeah, toughen us up. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See how patient Chattanooga is here. You certainly don't want to make a mistake right before half here. 
as Bay Cities comes out a little bit higher, maybe trying to just bring a little bit more attention into the offensive side, and instead That's they the are half, turned so away, and there's the half. Half time. So uh, Marcus Nagelstadt giving uh, Mumbi Kosele a hard time there right at the end and not letting him settle. This has been good play from Chanu. They've kept to keep the tempo up, not let Bay Cities get into the game hardly at all. So uh, great result, 1-0. Off that goal from Taylor Gray in the first half, folks. We'll be back after the uh, halftime of 15 minutes. We'll be back very soon, so uh, don't go away. See you soon. Great game to watch. So uh, what do you think of the first half, Todd? Well, uh, you know, if we both felt like that Chattanooga had the better of the first half. Uh, we both commented that these teams mm -hmm. came out swinging. Right. And Chattanooga scored first, scored early. The two teams, I thought, settled into it a little bit differently, a little bit more patient. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, uh, I think the one thing tonight that Bay Cities has done such a good job of defensively at times has been forcing Chattanooga wide. The problem has been they haven't, they haven't kept their eye on the backside, mm -hmm. right? So we'll see if that changes at any time. Here's Romero. We talked about how dangerous he can be. He tries to cross this one. And certainly for Bay City, they'll want to get the second half started with a little bit more energy, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, they've got a lot of confidence. And can they put some pressure on with their offense here? It looks like the coach gave them a good talking to in the locker room because they uh, pressing hard in the first couple of minutes. Now it's Chattanooga's turn to come forward. Sent down. Cero trying to set Taylor Gray off and Gray trying to make a move there. And instead, Shahid proving to be difficult tonight. A challenge defensively for this club. Yep, a good start from base it is, but Chattanooga back in the driving seat, so we're good. So this is certainly an opportunity for Chattanooga. A win tonight, first place. Mm -hmm. As yep. The competition in front of them will not play until Wednesday night. Yeah, they got a good crowd tonight. Several thousand here making a lot of noise, and that's always a, the 12th man for Chattanooga FC. Dixon to McGrath now, and McGrath doubled there. Andrew Poli has substituted in now for Bay Cities as they make a little change in their lineup. Something that Chattanooga has done recently. Simon has made mm -hmm. some changes in their lineup. Right, right. This is Penner to McCann. Trying to build up on and get out on the sides here. And certainly Chattanooga speed tonight has somewhat denied that turgeon. We should point out if you're thinking about what does a team need to do differently, the one thing Bay mm -hmm. Cities can't do here tonight mm -hmm. is they can't not uninjure one of their top strikers, Anthony Ordain, with three goals this year. Right. Not in the lineup. It's got to come from somewhere else, right? Mm -hmm. It does. They have to find the alternate striker. And if you rely on one person too much, then uh, that's not good. It's like uh, referee getting a talk into there from Edson Cardona. <laughs> He's not going to change his mind, of course, but... <laughs> Valencia wasn't. will play it back, and this is Penner playing it forward. A lot of the talk at the half was all about the goal that was disallowed. Right. That's what we talked about at the halftime. Can't surprise that one. Some people saw the flag up. I Others didn't. did not. I did not. I didn't see it. The players didn't see it. It was a little bit of a puzzle what happened, but... That's, why the, that's why the referees there to see these things, I guess. <laughs> Dixon defending. And a little bit of, and there it goes McGrath now. A little bit of shoving. Yeah, we'll see a bit more of that as the game goes on. He and Romero have. Great ball from Nagelstadt. Will the keeper get there first? Taylor Gray right, gets right, it. comes away with it. He's got Taylor an open Gray. net and a chance here, waiting for some follow up help. The keep still not in it. Now he's in it. And pushed aside. And then no. blocked again. Wow. A couple of blocks. Wow. Nice job. <laughs> Beautiful job defensively by Bay City. All hands are up. All people aware. All people wow. upset. That was a super intense play. Marcus Nagelstadt not able to finish it. Taylor Gray trying to be the hero, the one man who couldn't quite make it happen. And the 
Cruz Gomez played great goalkeeping there, but it wasn't enough and he made the foul. Well, you had your um, best players doing their best work, didn't you? That was a um, very intense bit of soccer. Basin is not happy about the penalty decision, but it was the right one. Let's go ahead and take a moment to show you what Can we, we just watched, again? which was a, uh, a scramble. Let's see it again. Let's collect two nickels for that. That was so intense. Here we go. Watch this. Great ball for Mark Nagwish now. Taylor Gray gets around the keeper. Bit of a collision. Keeper plays with a foul, but it wasn't really one. And then Taylor Gray just a little bit slow. Doesn't quite get away. Nagwish that. Gets the ball. And again, and then just can't finish it. Here's the kick by Nugglestad. Gomez yeah. can't block it on the left post as this one carries in. And that two to nothing yeah. lead that was erased earlier is now on the board. As he now has five goals in the last two matches. Yeah. Chattanooga two up. Definitely in control of the game tonight. I think the foul in the the calls a penalty came from um, Sir Bailey, so I'm not sure if he wouldn't get another yellow card for that, but he didn't. So, so he's not having a good game. <laughs> there you see the goal scorer right there. There he is on your screen, Marcus Nagelstadt. He is. He is uh, he's firing on form right now. <laughs> We'll certainly look at all the scores after the weekend, but he is uh, right now, he would be the league leader for yep. that golden boot. That's right. Early in the season for that, but yes, he's in a great position. Well, right, again, for, for Bay Cities, they are without one of their types, top strikers, and Chattanooga has gotten their top striker they must be feeling on the board that. here. They must be feeling the back of the striker. Here again, we go more again. pressure, another breakaway, turns the defender around. Nugglestad again draws, draws the double. Another shot on goal, and this yeah. one is wide of the post. The Brett Jones there, couldn't quite get it, the curve in. But uh, Chattanooga in plenty of space to shoot. We'll have a stoppage here. Have another HHM stoppage of play, certified public accounting. Get the full support of your business and that your business deserves. Go online today and start your conversation with a trusted and certified accountant at HHM Accounting. So Chattanooga with the early goals in both halves. It's been a good position. Bay City with everything to do. Turgeon has it taken away. Chanuga with the uh, two goals and the home advantage. It looks good. <laughs> and again, Bay City came out, applied some offensive pressure early here in the second half, and Chattanooga has retaken control of the offensive side of things. This is Dixon dodging two. Jones. Oh, and just behind Sarah, who couldn't stop to get his boot on it. McCann to Romero, and again Romero with the frustrating tonight. And you wonder with, again, with one of their top players out, mm -hmm. how much easier his night would be. But he right. has certainly become the defensive target, right? That's right, he has. So he's, uh, yeah. A little bit extra to do, being the target, man. Gray on the side, stealing Gray's, it away from Mahid. Relentless, isn't he, Taylor Gray? <laughs> Mahid again, oh, nice move. Escapes around to the far side. Ward shuts it down. Chested and kept in there. And Bay City with Romero, again trying to find some room, and again just shut off by McGrath. Yeah, just great play from Alex there. So aware of what's going on all over the field. Romero looking for room, but instead Stolen. Jones with a steal. Good steal. Chattanooga confident. A little bit too confident, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get rid of that. <laughs> Is two to nothing the worst lead to have 
in a match? No, I don't think so. One nil is always a bit uncertain. <laughs> Two is good. But any lead and you relax, then it's not good. So they must always uh, assume play like it's nil-nil rather than uh, getting too comfortable. Penner sends it to the far side. Mahid looking for a little action over there. Instead, now Dixon comes across. Nice sliding boot to kick it away. So substitution coming up for Bay Cities. Number 11, Adolfo Trujillo about to come on. Taking off. Number 5, Jacob Penner, who's been run pretty hard tonight. He has, hasn't he? <laughs> I mean, he has really been a workhorse he's, uh, and held yeah, up nicely. He's had to work hard. So a couple of substitutions. The first two so far in this match for Bay Cities. Fresh legs into the match now. As Bay Cities, their play could turn desperate here. Down 2 0, sending it ahead. It's a nice ball. Still looking dangerous. Chandler are flooding defenders back into the box. Boy, Cardona just trying to find some room. He can't find room. The dark blue shirts again. Nagelstadt with Gray open. Sends Gray, it back across the middle. One. This is Gray. With Gray's got some room. The goalie comes out. The Nothing there. And there is the third goal of the night into the far post corner. And that could be the one as Chattanooga gets behind the defense one more time. What a brilliant goal. Cheeky little goal. One on one with the keeper. Slides around it to the left and slicks it into the back of the net. Taylor Gray with those goals that I think have been coming for a long time for Taylor. Now he's got two in one night. Chattanooga three, based at his nil. One in the first, two here in the second. And let's watch again as Chattanooga gets behind the defense one more time on this let's replay. See that again. Here we go. That's worth a nickel on its own. Look at this. Here's the replay machine. Look at that. Cheeky goal. Slides it in. Danny Turgeon can't get anywhere near it. And 3-0 to Chattanooga, basically is on the back foot. You think Gomez is too aggressive there, or is he just risking it? Um, a little the bit. What's, what's the decision there, you think? I know it's easy to second guess, but... No, it's, uh, I think he's too aggressive. It's something you're going to be cheeky and go for it and just take a chance, because that's where goals come from. So, I'm, I enjoyed that. <laughs> I love goals like that. That's the ones I used to try and score myself when I was playing. That goal was out for a goal kick. Now the Chattanooga Football yeah. Club now with eight goals in their last two matches, and we are not finished here tonight. How about that? As this team, you, you and I talked about mm -hmm. earlier, a bit of a disappointing start here at home against Flower City. It wasn't what we expected, right. yeah, and giving away city goals. Right. But uh, I think that's behind us. I think what we expected <laughs> was the last game that they played against Flower City. I'm not going to call it a revenge game, but certainly a game, the 5-1 to one we, uh, there. Many people felt like should have also occurred we, here at I the think I'd, I'd probably call it a revenge game or a hey, <laughs> look at us game, you know, because, yeah. yeah, losing at home is never cool. And it was a silly goal we gave away against them because the run of play, Chattanooga had it in that game. Then that one break they had, they got the one goal. And it was, you know. But anyway, that's all in the past. Chattanooga now 3 0 up on Bay Cities and play extremely well. And hooligans are in great voice. You can probably hear on the microphone at home. And uh, loving this game, folks. Sit back and enjoy. Romero sending it into the box. Headed out and away. And then the drive is blocked away. Yeah, Tate Robertson there, taking care of business. So now we'll see just what uh, Bay Cities have got. Have they got anything in reserve for this? Well, you and I have talked before about risk-reward. What do you do? You have to risk. Yeah, and uh, Valencia, Trillo has checked in. First time we've really seen him. Some nifty moves to get it centered. Yep. But can you do all the work on the left wing down here and just work one of into the ground? Mahid trying to center this one. Headed out and away. Big 
a wild shot there. Nice try, but uh, not on target. So basically showing they can get the shots in. But nothing happening this time. Oh, that's a bad giveaway. Richard Dix is there to clean up. A little bit sloppy Chattanooga. Could do better than that. Turgeon. Sending it forward. And Romero advancing it. As Bay City's, well, every time they seem to touch the ball, there are two defenders on them just as quickly as the ball arrives. Take down. Referee says play the advantage. Romero with it now. One shot in his last eight appearances, just desperate to get the ball into the center. It's a nice ball. Kevin Gonzalez there first. <laughs> Cardonia thought he was going to have some open field to work with there, and the uh, keep took so. it away, right? Yep. Kevin read that one and jumped on it first of all, so that was good. That's a lovely ball. Brett Jones free and onside. He's got support. Lovely ball across to Gray. Gray cannot get his feet on it. Beautiful job by Shaheed coming from behind defensively on that Just far post. Wow. And uh, the goalie's best friend there. Absolutely. You know what? It's, sometimes it's easy to give up down 3-0, three, three uh -huh. yep. e even at the pro level. Yep. But Shaheed. What a move, though. Brett Jones unselfishly spraying it across. Chattanooga not done yet, folks. Shaheed in the corner with Gray there. You have to be careful with those two. Romero went for the strip. It's played forward. It's Frankie Martinez. He's having a good game, is Frankie Martinez. I'm glad he's back from injury. He's uh, keeping the defense very solid on the left hand side. Yeah, very dynamic player, isn't he? He is. Good to watch. He's worn the captain's AM bomb. Uh, who wore the captain's armband with Stumptown last year, so he you did. know he's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we enjoyed watching Stumptown play last year. Left side, Romero here. Quickly defended. Cerro in the Oops. punch out. Nice punch. And driven back in on goal. Oh, oh, oh. Did he go in? That one looks like it does go in, and now... Whoa, a little bit Tangled of... up. And this is how this one's going to be interrupted. As it looks like Bay City, there was no flag up. And I believe this one, let's see. The keeper playing, he was injured and kicked by the uh, Bay City forwards. What's the referee doing here? Is he giving the goal? That was a bit chaotic, folks. Hard to see what was going on. I couldn't tell if it was on the outside or the was, inside, but it looks certainly on the inside. Yeah. Let's go ahead and watch the replay right here. See if here. we can tell from that. It was very confusing. Uh, we, I think it was in because the referee is giving the, a restart, but... Watch right here. What's going on here? And then yeah. the after party, if you will. Yeah. Well, they're giving that one, so... Face it is get one back. Game's not over, folks. There's still <laughs> something to do here. And so Bay City stays aggressive. And you yeah. know what? Go back to the saving slide by Shahid to keep it at three to nothing. And all of a sudden your your defense turns into your best offense of the night. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's absolutely right. Frankie Martinez foul there, and uh, Chattanooga getting ready to make some substitutions. A couple of the players getting shirted up, ready to go. A little bump there, whistle to stop the play. I 
presenting sponsor yeah. tonight, Louisiana Hot Sauce, the original hot sauce. And it's uh, things at times tonight have gotten hot, haven't it? It looks like we've had some hot sauce <laughs> every now and then. On the field, we certainly have. Yeah. So Chattanooga getting ready to make substitutions here. Luke Ferreira, number nine, waiting to come on. And our local hero, Damien Rodriguez, number 28. They'll be on in a moment. Some fresh legs up front. So Marcus Nagelstadt comes off. Luke Ferreira takes his place. Luke Ferreira from Brazil. And uh, experience from Colorado switchbacks and has played in all over the world. Brazil, Norway and Portugal so far. So plenty of experience there. Let's see who uh, Damon Rodriguez displaces. Michael Stad will come out. His night is over after a goal. Chattanooga scoring first in the first half, scored twice here in the second half, and Bay Cities has managed to get on board here with some offense of their own to tighten things up a little bit. So Brett Jones replaced by Damon Rodriguez. Brett Jones had a good, good first half. And uh, fresh legs. See what Chattanooga have got. Keep control of the game and Cardona with some pressure, turns it over. Trio now, sending it far side. Romero now with it at his feet, and Ward knocks it away. Playing it back, there's Turgeon. Four times this year, Turgeon, 90 minutes. He has been a workhorse for this club. Played previously with Philadelphia. Picked off in the middle. A grab there that goes yep. unnoticed. Yep, with a shirt grab. Gray with a touch forward to McGrath. And Romero and Shahid combine there defensively to keep Gray cornered as much as possible. I see Bay City is pressing a bit more now. They've certainly changed the game from the first half, and they're a little more aggressive than they were. And that's paid off for the first goal. Trillio. Back into the right side for Romero, and Romero just can't chest it and keep it in. Chattanooga with a win tonight, and they are in first place. When you look at the, the league leaders in Chattanooga, certainly had their share of competition. Bay Cities, Maryland. That's the shot. On goal. Wow. And that right. was a rocket. They called that an offside. So tonight, no, th these they two. It. That, was, that was a goal. I thought they called an offside there. There you go. All right. Well, for me, base it is on the front foot. 3 2. Two goals in five minutes. Base it is are uh, suddenly found their scoring boots. Now, let's see what Chattanooga do. Uh, you and I commented that 1-0 was not going to hold up tonight. It turns out 2-0 we right. wouldn't have held up. Well, maybe we'll get that 3-3 three, three score the uh, tech guys were predicting earlier. <laughs> 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 they could have been right all along. We weren't. But 3-2, seven minutes played, 20 to go. A battle on the side there, turned over. Another chance now for Bay Cities that has found some offensive magic here in the second half, playing it forward. Romero. Now we talk about first place, and Chattanooga has not secured it yet. They need to run the, the clock out here. As this one is coming out wide. Yeah, I think to be comfortable, they want another goal, really. Damon Rodriguez, look at him go. Rodriguez steps away from one. Does he have back support? Approaching to the far side, he is marked. 
and like he drops. drives it across the box, and the crosser will yeah. sail wide and go out. Yeah, David Rodriguez is going to surprise these defenders with his speed. He's uh, <laughs> round two defenders and gets the crossing. Just a bit too much on it, but uh, that's what he does. Shahid firing it forward, hoping to find somebody. It's defended nicely. Headed back into control for Bay City. Romero here with it now. Trying to escape Rodriguez and runs right into a defender. Sends it forward. There's some room. And the yeah, goalie comes offside. out and the flag was, was up anyway. He was offside, yeah. A bit too much on that for Luke Ferreira. But the idea was good. Chattanooga aren't done yet, I'm sure. Cerro chasing defensively. Boy, Turgeon and Cerro, Bay City and Chattanooga, those two players right there all mm -hmm. over the place tonight, always active. Searching for some room. Trilio comes away with it out of the pack. Valencia now, another opportunity here. Bay City's looking for another shot. They've already scored twice here in this half. Building the momentum. Mahid tries to cross it. Thank you, Martin. There's, there's the block again. Basically, it's really turning on the screw tonight. They finally uh, got in their groove. It's interesting to watch how different they are from the first half. Shahid from the side here. And Gray will punt that one. So from the corner. Looking for their man in the box. Nice in swinger, but uh, runs through for a goal kick. Yeah. Chattanooga get a chance to reset. Now, you know, we talked about risk reward. What's Chattanooga mm -hmm. have to do now? They have to start either being really solid on defending and just grind it out, or they can go for an extra goal and get a bit of a cushion. I think the way they play at the moment, they're probably going to go with the extra goal and get the cushion. Stripling. And then cleared out by the goal. Knocked away there. Yeah, it's easy to fall back and play defense when you're up 3 to nothing. All of a sudden, the strategy changes a little bit when it's 3-2, well, doesn't it? Well, that's it. You have to be very soft of the game that changes so fast. Trying to find some room open here in the corner, and there is a stoppage in play as the foul and another push. As these two teams tonight have gone at it. Surely that's a card for pushing him over. And he's already on a one yellow card. Surely that's his second. This would be the third tonight on this team if there is another card here. Should be a red for that. Well, he's on one yellow from the first half. Now he's got a second yellow. And it should be a red but the referee doesn't give a red. That's uh, interesting refereeing. Now this is clearly what we thought it would be tonight, which is an intense battle between two teams that are at the top of their respected divisions. He's had, and you're not going to run anybody out of here. He's had two, two yellows. That should be ready to be off the field. Turgeon sends it down. Too far for Romero to handle. Cardonia trying to find a way to make something happen as well. Now Rodriguez with the break. Maybe He's he got open. Him. He's got support. Two in the middle, two on the wide. Cerro. Gray now. Hey, Gray has a chance and it's in turned in away. Can't turned away. Turgeon was there again. Oh, what a player he has been tonight. He's been fabulous. a reason why he's had those 90-minute matches. Absolutely. Glad we signed him from the Bobcats. He's been playing really great. <laughs> Free kick to Chattanooga. McGrath and Gray again. Now Anders Perez 
the coach for Bay Cities has found something to build off of here tonight, here in the second half offensively. As this one sails wide now. That's a goal kick. Prepped out for a corner there. So, all right, 15 minutes to go. Don't, uh, don't blink, folks. Lots of action happening tonight. <laughs> Romero, putting it back. Now, you're in a position now, maybe to be a little bit more patient, mm -hmm. right? I think so. Though, maybe. If, uh, I know Bates is going to go for the third. We got the Chattanooga to stifle them and also find a, find a way to see if they can nick a fourth and then but the maybe. game is good. But anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Rodriguez. Damien's still fighting for the ball. Look at him go. He's a bundle of energy. Oh, this is a problem here for Bay City. They yeah. almost turn it over. Cardonia has it now, and he'll control the play. Now, certainly, Bay City's put themselves right back in this one. You think 3 0, and. Yeah, I mean, three right. goal lead is pretty safe, right. but I'm wrong, it's not. Quite the battle That's there. Uh, Quite the battle there. A pushing and shoving going on there. <laughs> Boy, that's not the first time tonight. It won't be the last time oh tonight. No. Oh no. Take Robinson working hard there. He's got a few bruises in the morning after that. Talked about Josiah Romero and this trying to find a way to get him involved. Five shots in the last five matches. Three goals on the year. And Chattanooga has defensively picked who they want to shut down and they've done a good job of containing Romero. But now the rest of the team is starting to pitch in. This one's held in with the chest. Taken away now. In the corner. Yeah, it's what Ferreira's skills like in the corner if he can keep possession. There's just no room there, is yeah, there? Yeah, the Ridge runs out of real estate. So Chattanooga with the corner, so uh, let's see how they do from here. Is McGrath going to take it? Let's see. No, looks like it's Cerro. Cerro will. Cerro will take it. Well, they're both good at corners, so yeah. that's all right. <laughs> Another Chick-fil-A corner Maybe here. Maybe the short one is to McGrath. He's standing off yet, I thought so. Man on, look up, there we go. And not a great cross. Shaheed was there. Bit of a waste on that one. That's Taylor Gray, is it too strong? It is out, yep. There's a little too much on that for Taylor to keep it in play at the stage of the game. Shaheed there with ball in hand. Long toss and headed back, but still controlled by Bay Cities. Who has done a fabulous job of getting back into this match here tonight. Mm -hmm. And now all bets are off. <laughs> Something aren't too fabulous, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> At least all my bets are off. <laughs> I'm a heavy better when when it's mm -hmm. three to nothing, three nil. Sure, well, right? well who yeah. isn't? <laughs> yeah, seen so many games go where they have been teams have got confident and set on a, a fat lead and had it eaten away. Jimenez, so. boy, almost came away with a, a steal there, and this one could be trouble. Here we go, Ferrer. Right, he away. checks in. He's been double marked as the defense Lovely catches up. Nifty heel. move, a back kick. This is great yeah. timing, and it is far down for the fourth ball of the night. Taylor Gray with the second.
Watch this. You can see that again. Yeah, we talked about that the point. That was a great goal. The back heel was fabulous, and the shot, bang, straight in the roof of the net. Complete confidence. Taylor Gray gets the hat trick. How about that? Fabulous. Chattanooga back on top, 4-2, 10 minutes to go. That's a knockout blow on base, is that's going to put them back. Taylor Gray with a goal in the first, two here in the second. It's a six goal game, folks, and 4-2 to Chattanooga. That was just excellent play. And Ferreira's hold up and then the back heel just very classy. This is one of two matches tonight. Crowd in the stadium's on their feet for this one, so are we. It's excellent. The other one, Cal United versus Flower City. And mm -hmm. then on the first, Syracuse will play Valley and Bay City's back in action against Flower City. This play continues throughout the week. Now Chattanooga was up 3-0. Bay City's got the 3-2. Couple of takedowns yeah, here. One, one after the other. That's a foul in Chattanooga's favor. Richard Dixon getting the knock. <laughs> Richard Again, Dixon asking, him, pick, 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 if you're going to knock me up, help me up. <laughs> That's right. And this is a big guy, so go and help him up. So, uh, well, you know what? The old man needed a little help getting up, didn't he? <laughs> Just a bit. Deep drive, right. trying again to get behind the defense. Huge boost for Chattanooga's confidence there, so. Shaheen again knocks it away. Just an excellent play. So, Chattanooga again, their turn to come forward. Ray again now. Shaheen well aware, comes out to play him. But with respect, plays him with a little bit of room. Yep. Boy, he's a guy you don't want to get too close to. No, isn't really, he? no, not yeah. really. So Taylor Gray ducking and diving in the corner. One minute you think Bay you're City defending him well, and, yep. Yep, and the next he's, then he's, he's behind you, and he's like right. already gone. <laughs> he's like, oh, where's that gone? <laughs> there he is. Cities is going to find any open space now. A little bit of back pressure. Rodriguez escapes. It's a foot race. Defended well there down the sides. David Nicely Rodriguez. done by Bay Cities. Doesn't quit, does he? he just yeah. goes on and on. Look at this. Nice footwork. Dixon. Back to Dixon. Love back. It. Here's another opportunity, oh, and it's slow. pushed away just and cleared out. A little too slow on the ball there. Tate Robson puts it back to Richard Dixon. Dixon now Go just again. trying to <laughs> get the young the youngsters involved, right? Absolutely. And they are both playing extremely well. Alex James there, just couldn't get the shot away. It's just a little bit too slow. Chattanooga's offense has really opened up in the last two matches. Cardonia. Held in there, this is Romero. Nice overlap. Can they make something happen? Outnumbered by Chattanooga's defense. Not much time left in this one. Yeah, five or so minutes plus yeah. a bit of stoppage. So, but uh, this will be the test. Chattanooga's got four back with uh, Travis Ward and Martinez and Stripling and Robertson. So they have gone back to four. They take to play flexible. They had three at one point, they're back to a four-man defense, and they are ready for having the ball thrown at them quite a lot in the next few minutes. See, these, see if the tired legs make a difference or not. But uh, whether base it is can get a, another goal or not. Cardone, you tried to send sure. it in, footed away there. 
Romero now. Just got tonight's attendance. 2,864 souls in the stadium enjoying this great game. If you want to come down, please do. The next home game is June the 11th. If you want to see more home soccer before that, come down the 4th, see Chattanooga ladies. And also on the 11th, you see a double header with the ladies in the afternoon, the men in the evening. So June the 11th would be a great day to come down and take in some real soccer live at Finley Stadium. And you haven't got to listen to me and Todd rambling on on your home TV. <laughs> That's not an incentive to know what is. <laughs> <laughs> you can tape that and go back and there you go. watch and listen later, right? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go to cfctix.com to get your tickets. Uh, you can get the flex ticket. You can use those anytime, any game of the season. And uh, or get a box of season tickets. And uh, bring the family, bring your friends, bring your dog. It's a great way to watch. This is certainly quite the turnaround from the home opener. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it Dif really is. Different looking team, to be honest. That's, uh, absolutely. No, I mean, just really. It, is, it really is. They've got confidence. Yeah. They're working together. They know where each other's going to be. So. And I don't like to keep referring back to that, but it seems to be a talking point for everybody. The team, the fans. I think as we get further away from it, we'll be looking at the, the victories. Well, you see more stuff like this. We right? do. This will this will change the conversation for sure. It may do, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a little close in for a, a shot, but they're going to try it. Just 18 yards out, if they can get it up and over the wall. No, they come up and over and over the goal too. It's really hard to score from that angle. It's just too hard to get it up and down. But uh, a nice shot from Bay City. Chattanooga probably won't rush to yeah. reset and take the goal kick. And uh, the last three or four minutes of regulation time. So we're going to have a substitution for Chattanooga. Let's see who it is. Roddy Green from ex Detroit City. Another forward will come on. So time for Roddy Green to get some playing minutes. I know his parents have been here for all the games and are loving it. So I hope they're watching tonight. Zal is solid, takes a knock, yeah, but he's, he's yeah. got the ball. He's Competitive good. play right there, right? And yeah. A nice exchange of sportsmanship between the two. A bit of gamesmanship too. <laughs> so that was back in the play quickly. Romero, that, uh, he knew. Oh, tired legs there, giving that one away. Cardonia here. Trillio now with Rodriguez in pursuit. Still waiting to get Roddy Green on for a substitution for the corner to base it is. We're right into one of the Chattanooga players is down. That maybe right into the small of the back on the kick. Could yeah. be Ward there, a little slow in getting up. Travis Ward, yeah. Well, wasting a little bit of time too. So. As you do this time <laughs> of the game. So. Nice flick on header, but nothing doing. It was the right idea, just not the execution. With the points tonight, Chattanooga will leapfrog Maryland and Michigan. And when you, uh, when you check the standings tomorrow morning, it'll read Chattanooga, Michigan Stars, Maryland, Syracuse and Flower City in the East Division. Let's see who Roddy Green, Roddy Green's taking, yeah, Taylor Gray's place, Taylor Gray going off from the far side of the field. You just see him there on the far side going off. He's gonna take the long walk. So, Taylor Gray, the hat-trick hero tonight. I think he'll get man of the match. Well, he made it one to nothing. He made, right? he made it look easy. Yeah, he made Great it. Great ball, that's uh, offside, and Damon Rodriguez, but uh, it's all right, Chattanooga. Talk about, 
Buck Gray. Sorry, he made it yeah. one to nothing, and then he made it three to nothing. Yep. And then that turned out not to be enough, maybe. So right. he made it four to so two. He made it four. <laughs> With a little help from Marcus Nagelstadt, that penalty kick. That's one of those nights where you come off and you say, really? What else do I... <laughs> yeah, what am I going to do? You know, get, what's the guy, what's the man yeah. going to do? You're going to break. So <laughs> Don't blow it now, fellas. Right. So Chattanooga still with uh, Ferrer up front on his own. Four additional Roddy, minutes. Yeah. So added to our play time here. Yep. Roddy Green on the far side. Doing Taylor Gray's work. Tate Robertson, great header. Almost bounces off the wall, but gets it clear. So uh, referee will keep time on the field. Should be should play the full four minutes. And stoppage of play right there. Stop for a foul, that's interesting. Should have played the advantage, but oh well. It's all right, Chattanooga will take the time over this one. Now this is certainly the kind of night that uh, will be celebrated well into the night here in Chattanooga. Oh, yeah. Fans of the stadium just loving this. It's been a good, good night soccer. And there'll be fireworks here at the fort following the match tonight. That's right. So. We've already had fireworks on the field in several different ways. Well, these two teams match up so well. Both so competitive. Mm -hmm. Set right. wide. Neither of them wants to really lose. And they're both, you know, teams that can take control of the game tonight. It's been Chattanooga's turn, but uh, on their on their night, basically, would do it too. They play in a quite a tough league on the West Coast, so you never know. But tonight, it just wasn't their night. Shahid had touched it forward and trying to build something up. This is Romero trying to dance around too, and instead it's just cleared back out and down the pitch. Yep, waste a few more seconds. Yeah. That's a hit, a hit and hope yeah. there, not really a to anybody, and that rolls out for a goal kick. Chattanooga will obviously not rush to take that. Bit of a waste, really. But again, tied legs at the end of the game. It's uh, a little hard to make the right decisions. It's easy to do what she's standing here watching it and a little harder on the field. Gonzalez in no hurry here. City, they are going to be frustrated at how this one started tonight. Mm -hmm. Just no real offensive presence in yeah. the first half. They, they left it a bit late. That's the feeling I got was they could have uh, done better about you know, an earlier start and they were slow off the, off the blocks and they paid for it, really. Romero has it now, <laughs> looking for some space and there's... Gonzalez got it. Uh, now you're just hoping, safe. right? Yeah, yeah, you know, clinging on to straws at this point into the uh, almost the last minute of extra time. And even if you can, it's a, a great pass. The forwards have got tired legs, and it's hard for them to chase like I did in the first part of the game. Right there. Oh, another goes foul. Down. Man, what a busy night. <laughs> Three yellow cards tonight. Yeah. Handed down to Bay City, one to Chattanooga. But Chattanooga with the four goals. That's Excuse the number that's going to matter the most at the end of this one. That's right. That is, those are the stats we love. Goals in Chattanooga's favor. So, yep, an interesting game. But it's been good. It's been up and you know, it's been up and down. Took a lead, almost had the lead taken away, got the lead back, so yeah. That's what makes soccer worth watching. Boy, if you're a player for Chattanooga tomorrow morning, it's just so nice, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it's a great feeling. I mean it's it's uh, just a great, great feeling. They'll go for a you know, a drink with the lads after the game and talk to the fans and it would have been a good mood. The that's, the, yeah. that's the extra time done. Four <laughs> minutes is up, folks. The extra, really playing yeah. on fumes and I think the referees get a blow, that's it. We do have a final of four to two here from Chattanooga, and before the fireworks get started, yeah, Simon, your final thoughts on this one? Well, Chattanooga came out fighting with that first goal from Taylor Gray in the sixth minute, and it just got better and better from there. So, uh, a great game. Just uh, 
Chattanooga's played at the conference of their last win and uh, be able to go 3 0 up at the start of the second half of the goals from Nagelstadt and the penalty and then Gray 56 minute and then a bit of a shock with basically just getting two back in five minutes um, then Taylor Gray put it to bed in the 80th minute with that cheeky little goal and it was all done it was a good night Vienna and uh, Chattanooga with a great win in the books 4-2 go on to the next game with confidence and three points on the board I just want to remind everybody that tonight's match was presented by Louisiana Hot Sauce, the original hot sauce. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Chattanooga Sports. They invite you to come back and check us out. Also by Southern Honda Power Sports as they brought you the keys to the match tonight. And those all played out as Simon said they would. Also like to thank Coca-Cola, Crystal Air, Chick-fil-A, Kapperman White and McGarvey, and HHM Accounting. Your final score, four to two. Chattanooga is in first place in the East Division. Come back and join us again. Simon, the next match is... June the 11th, AC Syracuse, 7.30 at Finley Stadium. We'll see you then. We'll be bringing you the coverage. Have a great rest of your Memorial Day weekend, folks. Thanks for being Chattanooga FC fans. Have a good night. <laughs>